This is the only place you need to go if you need cheap and fast coins to build your God Squad. Hands down, they have the cheapest prices. Make sure you go to MMOXP.com and use code WOLF for 5% off. Link is in the description. So today, they released some information on next gen Madden 21 for the PS5 and the Series X. I don't know if it's gonna be a thing on PC. Are they gonna get that next gen upgrade? I have no idea. Maybe they'll tell us in this article. I haven't read it. I saw the video earlier today on Twitter. I wasn't too impressed, but that little video is not really gonna tell us much about what we can expect for next gen and Madden 21. So I wanna read this for the first time with you guys. If you haven't seen it, be your first time as well. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video, subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on, become a member of the Wolfpack, link is in the description. Gridiron Notes, Madden 21, Next Gen Stats Deep Dive, featuring Next Gen Player Movement, fueled by Real World Next Gen Stats. So that pretty much eliminates Mutt, right? Because Mutt isn't based off the Real World Next Gen Stats. So we're already canceling Ultimate Team right off the rip. Learn about the next generation of Madden NFL gameplay, however the gameplay could change. All right, so welcome to the first Gridiron Madden 2021 20, on Next Gen. We're excited to finally reveal the next generation of Madden Series X, S, and PlayStation 5. Today, we want... See, they don't mention PC. Today, we want to take a dive into Next Gen player movement and the integration of NFL Next Gen stats into Madden's gameplay. This new innovation in technology is now the foundation for the most authentic player movement ever in Madden NFL. So from what I'm getting so far is Next Gen player movement is going to be based... like So the, the way you're defense or offense runs routes probably or the way they defend is going to be dependent on next gen stats you guys see that whenever you're watching a nbc or monday night football or sunday night football wherever they put next gen stats i think it's sunday night you'll see the next gen stats it could be it could be like fox too i don't know but i've seen it and they show you like when they throw the pass how many you know, how far his pass traveled and all that so it's going to be interesting to see how they do that uh, let's start with how you can expect next gen stats to completely change the NFL, the feel of the gameplay. So the screenshots, like I said, the screenshots, you probably can't tell because it's YouTube, but these guys still look like, look at Lamar's hands, bro. You could just tell that they look like rubber hands and arms, bro. They look rubbery, man. I don't like that. Doesn't look, look different at all. So what is next gen stats? NFL player tracking also known as next gen stats is the capture of real time location data, speed and acceleration for every player, every play on every inch of the field. Sensors throughout the stadium track RFID tags placed on players shoulder pads, charting individual movements within inches in every NFL stadium. So with the stuff they have on the shoulder pads, it should change pursuits. If we're talking next gen stats, if I can still run a ladder a step on my opponents and what i mean by that is if you've been paying attention and watching how defenders react to the running of the ball if i run the ball if i run straight then curve right i will make your defensive guy stop stare and then take off sideways then i do it again go up the field i see someone i go i, I do like a stare pattern when you're running the ball and you'll notice that the character models on defense stop they look and then they engage Stop engage. Stop it. It's weird. It's a weird thing, bro. So I don't know. Uh, this Dolphins screenshot looks all right. Like I said, this you could make this look just as it's just as good on the One X and the PS4. It's just as good. I don't see nothing next gen about. It. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't really tell us the, the the full story of what's really going on. So next gen stats equals next gen player movement. This is a big deal because, and this is another thing I want to know is if we're going to get a next-gen Madden, does that mean that when I compete against players, if they don't have the PS5 or the Series X, I can't match up against no one else? I have to be matching up against someone with the same console, right? Because it wouldn't be fair to the player under me or to me if I have to re re rely on the next-gen movement and they don't. Levering the power of NFL next-gen stats, next-gen player movement is fueled by real athlete data Route pass and acceleration rates allowing the next generation of Madden NFL to deliver the most realistic, authentic, and fluid player movement in franchise history. Feel the most elite NFL athletes at every position move on the virtual field like they do in the real world. So like I said, I don't really see nothing incredible except that Tyreek Hill's arms look rubbery. My man looks like, like, like rubbery. And, and even my man's over here and this guy over here, they, they look like they do now. That makes any sense. 
Expanding on the player archetypes introduced in Madden 21 on the current generation, we've added more animation content and nuance to each unique archetype on next generation tech so that they will move and feel even more differently on the stick. So we're looking at a whole, from what they're making it seem like, it's gonna be a whole new gameplay experience on next gen. That's what I'm getting at. They added more co animation content, which means we're gonna see animations we haven't seen at all. So what we're getting right now is just what we've been used to, but now it's gonna be, that's what I'm getting from it, but we, we probably all will be let down. You guys know how that goes. For example, a big bruising ball carrier will run with a heavier weight and produce more tackle outcomes where he gains extra yards while a small agile ball carrier will change direction efficiently and avoid tackles rather than power through them. Now, you know what's cool is that the PS5, they have that new controller where the triggers vibrate. I wonder if they're gonna implement that into Madden. I doubt it because they're kind of lazy over the EA, so probably not homies, but that would be pretty cool. Uh, kicks too, I don't know. Unique player movement per, per archetype will, with each captured across multiple body types. Okay, so unique player movement per archetype. So we're looking at different movements, homies. Ball carrier, agile, agile small, agile tall, bruiser, bruiser quick, bruiser heavy. Route runners or wide receiver running back tight end split up between agile, agile small, agile tall, bruiser, bruiser quick, bruiser heavy. Pass block movements for OLs. This is, it could be game changing. Things that work that you're used to in current gen Madden may not work on next gen Madden. What they're making it seem like. So we get hyped for this, or or should I expect the least, the worst? Next gen stats and route running. With next gen stats innovation, route running in Madden 21 has completely overhauled. Wow. Okay, look at this. With next gen stats innovation, route running in Madden 21 has been completely overhauled. Receivers will run actual routes logged by next gen stats, real NFL game data, in addition to speed and acceleration rates. Our animation engine is also leveraging player specific route paths from next gen stats for individual receivers. For example, the path that Green Bay Packers Devontae Adams takes on a deep crossing route on a Sunday afternoon will be the same deep crossing route reflected by Adams in NFL gameplay. The result is natural feeling fluid routes with more rounded turns, athletic nuance and player differentiation. So check this out. If Adams runs certain routes, say they run crossers in the real game and he runs his crossing route at 20 yards, next gen stats is going to be from what I'm getting synced up into Madden in real time to where it changes his stats in real time. That's big, but ultimate team, we haven't got to yet. I don't know. Maybe they're going to talk more about Ultimate Team, but this is pretty much ruling out Ultimate Team so far. So I'm excited to see what they're going to announce for you guys or if any of this is going to affect you because right now, Next Gen Stats, I don't see how it would affect Ultimate Team at all. This just looks like maybe a franchise and regs thing, homies. So before on previous gen, our receivers ran from one specific point to another specific point at top speed all the time and made very similar cuts with very little difference between unique players. On next gen, player ratings and archetypes will heavily impact the quality and speed of each route, and they will be run as an entire route from start to finish, rather than each individual portion of a route on previous gen. Okay, that's strange. That means, are they gonna slow the game down? Is gameplay gonna be slower? This is something I gotta, I gotta look at once I get the new Madden on December 4th, I think. Next gen stats and defense. Next gen player movement doesn't benefit the offense or just benefit the offense. We also analyze the next gen stats for defensive players in terms of speed, facing direction, and acceleration. This data has allowed our animation engine to provide the appropriate content to make defenders who are backpedaling and strafing much more natural looking and athletic. In coverage, players will react and break on plays more consistently and predictably. So we're talking about zone breaks and stuff like that. Like I said, I know exactly what the AI is, AI is all about. When I get the next gen game and I run and I pay attention to the models and pursuit angles, I know exactly what's going on with next gen. Okay, I don't know. And I'll be honest with you guys. I will do a review and just be brutally honest because I don't care. I don't care. You know what I mean? Like, ain't nobody paying me nothing. So we're good. 
and next gen stats also brought improvements to AI pursuit. Ah, oh, so that when AI controlled defenders are pursuing a ball carrier, they will now get. They, they're talking about what I just talked about. They will now get in better position to make a play or be in a better position for a time to click on for the user to make the play. Now, think about this. At the beginning of Madden 21, they talked about how defenders were going to be putting themselves in better positions. But what happened? Stretch and all those were still dominant. So take that with a grain of salt. Let's see what it really does when we get our hands on the game. Um, lastly, but just important for the defensive side of the ball was next level tech for tackling. We built a new tackle prediction and anticipation technology we call Rally. With Rally, not only will you be able to start tackle interactions easier, but you'll see more variety in tackles, improved visual quality in terms of tackle prep and anticipation, and more authentic interactions during impact moments. Next Gen Stats powered replays. So to surface on some of the data, our players, we've also presentation on this. Okay, so what they're talking about here is Whenever they show replays, they're going to show the stats in real time of what your character did. I'm not going to read all that. That's pretty much self-explanatory, you know? Okay, look at this screenshot right here. This screenshot, bro, looks like Madden 16 or 17, man. It it doesn't... I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to leave it at that. So the next time you flatten the left tackle and sack the quarterback in under two seconds, put a couple defenders on skates for a 40-yard rush or rocket the ball 60 yards downfield for a game-winning touchdown, you'll get the recognition you deserve, and it will be all backed by hard data. Pretty much what I was just telling you guys. So they're tracking your stats in-game while using next-gen stats from the real games. Primary next-gen stats, replay triggers, completed air distance, rushing distance, ball carrier speed, tackle link, time to sack. Secondary next-gen stats, You'll see it right here. This is all going to be stuff that they break down in numbers on instant replays or probably after the game's over. You can look at all the stats. They're probably going to have its own section. Okay, next gen play call. Oh, man, don't tell me they're going to change play calling. I'm going to have to get used to play calling again, bro. I already know it, man. To provide a solid foundation for the player movement system, We've also made a significant update to our play call system, giving players more control to call the best plays for the right players on every down. Bro, I don't need coach suggestions via by player calling or by player play calling. And you can now keep all of your preferred plays on speed dial with the new favorite playmaker or play marker in playbook. Wait, 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 hold up. Hold up. Let's, back, let's, let's back this up. And you can now keep all of your preferred plays on speed dial with the new favorite play marker and playbook tab. I was the one, I'm, I'm sure they listened to me, two or three Maddens ago, I did top things, that, top 10 things they can do to make Madden better. And this was one of the things I put in that video. EA, did you listen to me one time, bro? Oh, if you did, that was nice. This was a good addition, which provides an intuitive way to save your favorites and easily find them later. An easily accessible go-to play feature, something our fan... Just put King Wolf. An easily accessible go-to play feature is something King Wolf requested for a long time, and we're excited to deliver it on Next Gen to him. And make sure you go subscribe to him right now. They added that. I added that. So this is what it's going to look like, homies, right here. This, okay, look, 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 X, A, Y, double tap, add, remove, favorite. Okay, so this looks like the favorite screen. Double tap, tempo, back, super sim, flip play. Okay, all right, so this is simulation. Well, that's arcade mode. Strange to me. We've made the play call screen more intuitive and user-friendly while still having the depth and power our core fans love. In addition to the enhancements described above, you'll also be able to see your superstar X Factor abilities and their stats for the current gen all right inside the play screen. Play call screen. Okay, so additional gameplay improvements. This is where we're going to talk about real gameplay. I mean, pass lead, right? Next gen stats of player movement opened up the ability to lead receivers on deep routes more effectively. Run game, it's easier to read running lanes and find those satisfying cutback lanes. Movement in and out of the pocket is smooth and athletic. You'll also feel the differentiation. Differentiation. Yeah, I'm saying it right, man. It just sounds weird. Differentiation in movement all over the field when comparing pocket passers to mobile QBs, which I'm pretty sure ain't no one using a pocket passer unless you want to lose the game. Head tracking. Head movement is more realistic for receivers when running routes and for ball carriers in terms of when and where they are looking, making them look more aware 
of the on-field action. Tackling. We've already talked about our new rally tech, but we've also improved gang tackles. Gang tackles will trigger more often with much more variety. We've also made improvements to the tackle momentum, and it's now much more realistic with direction, weight, and speed of the players involved. Take it into account for tackle selection and post-tackle fall-through, and even defensive users can now interact with gang tackles. Ooh, that's something. Bro, I'm not going to lie. This is actually hyping me up a little bit, okay? I'm really excited to see what this is all about. Improved pass rush time again. Are we really doing this, really? With the passing game moving at a more realistic speed, the pass rush has more of an impact relative to the timing relationship between the QB drop back, the depth of the route, and the speed of the incoming pass rusher. So you guys know when you're in practice mode, if you practice a lot, you know that the pass rush in practice mode is really fast. I'm prepared, bro. All I do, I spend most of my time in practice mode, right? Labbing stuff for you guys and showing you guys, right? So I'm ready for the pass rush to only allow you two seconds to throw the ball, bro. Okay? But with proper pass protection, you should be able to throw deeper routes, but you're going to have to get your pass protection down, bro. Get used to it. Make it... The, one of the main things you do blazing fast low times I already experienced that now I'm at 21 I have the Series X so it, it really is fast whenever I go into practice mode and I pick a playbook and I hit ready to go practice it just goes right into it There's I don't even wait straight into the into practice mode so the loading systems on SSDs we all know that it's going to be fast can't wait to get started don't forget next gen Madden 21 is available December 4th now Let's talk about a couple things before I get off the video because we're trying to keep it under 20 minutes. This is probably one of the longest videos I've made. First thing is, if they really wanted to make Madden 21 next gen, give Madden Ultimate Team a practice mode with all players available, with all abilities available that are only unlocked in, player, in, in practice to where you can practice using different abilities, different defenses, different, different players to see how they run routes using... Or, you know, like say you put a corner and you put a good corner and you put his abilities on him and you have a wide receiver and you want to see which abilities are work best against, you know, those abilities on defense should have a practice mode to do that. That would be next gen for ultimate team. If they come across something like that, homies, that's game changing just on the ultimate team side, because then you'd be able to figure out how you really want to build your team and not just build something you think is going to work. Take it out there and realize, oh, I got to get rid of this guy. That's not how it really works. You know what I'm saying? Another thing is, are we going to be able to play with PS4 and Xbox? I doubt it. I think if, if this is what they're talking about, Series X is going to be playing with Series X, PS4, or PS5 is going to play with PS5. Everybody on the old gen won't be able to play the next gen. And right now, next gen is hard to get into because everything is selling out. So let me know what you think in the comments below, man. Make sure you drop a like. Love you guys, man. Peace.